Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verses 31 through 33. I don't like this translation. Let's go to the expanded Bible here. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So... God the Father knows that we need what? We need food, something to drink, and clothes. 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I was talking to, <clears throat> there is someone I teach and I am trying to teach that person how to be, how to seek God even if that person has no one to lean on. I believe it is very important to be able to serve God for yourself. Now, it is good to be able to pray, read the Bible, and do other things with other people, but what if you don't have anyone else to do those things with? So, what are you going to do? Are you going to leave God if you don't have anyone to lean on. So I pretty much, at least what I, my aim is, I guess I can say, my aim is to get people to serve God independently for themselves. Not bad to read the Bible and do other things with other people, but I want to make sure that person won't fall if they begin living for Jesus Christ on their own. Anyways, I was telling that person pretty much what I am going to tell you, but let me say it in, I guess, some other words. I think <clears throat> when you begin living for Jesus Christ, you are going to be tested. I definitely believe that you are going to be tested. If you haven't, I think it is a matter of time. If you begin being in need, what some people may do is, yes, they may ask Jesus Christ for help, but if it seems like <clears throat> Jesus is not moving fast enough, some people may begin, some people may begin going outside of God to receive what they believe they need. And what do I mean by going outside of God? Hey, I am hungry and I don't have a job. So I may have to sell drugs. I may have to prostitute myself. I may have to do bad things to meet my needs. That is what I mean by going outside of God. Look now. 
If it is true, you are going to be tested while you are on this earth, while living for Jesus Christ. If it feels like God is delaying your needs, wouldn't that be considered a test? Like if I am in need and I am hungry and thirsty and whatever else, if I am praying for those things and if it seems like God is really delaying or if it seems like God isn't caring, wouldn't that be considered a test? I think so. Now, am I saying I am this perfect, super elite, high in faith Christian? Of course not. But if the Bible says to seek the kingdom of God first, so go by God's rules, be obedient to God, go by what pertains to us in the Bible, and all these things shall be added unto you. So basically, what that is saying to me, basically all I have to do pretty much is live for Jesus Christ and what I need in life will be added to me. So I don't have to steal to get my needs met. I don't have to prostitute myself. I don't have to get with a rich woman to meet my needs, which would not be really bad for me to get a rich woman, I guess, huh? <laughs> but I don't need to find an old woman, marry that woman for, for money. I don't have to do that. What I have to do is live for Jesus Christ and my needs will be met. So I don't have to seek outside of God, which I am not saying marrying an older person is a sin, an older rich person, I am not saying that, but I don't need to look outside of God to meet my needs. I don't have to do anything contrary to God's rules, the ones which pertain to us, to meet my needs. Basically, I guess, I believe, I will need to hold my faith in God or increase it and continue on in life following the rules of God which pertain to us. What some people may do, they may really love God. They may really want to serve him, but I think some people continue to get caught in the same spot over and over and over again while for instance, while times are good, it may be semi-easy for you to live for him. But when times are rough, I think you begin looking in the inside. I believe you be, I believe some people may begin looking on the inside. Like, uh, uh, my bills are so high, my electricity is going to get cut off, my water bill is due, what can I do? Yes, I love God, but you know, I need these bills to be, to get paid, so I may have to sell myself to make this happen. I may have to sell some drugs to make this happen. My babies need milk and pampers, so I have to do something bad to meet my needs, and you don't. You may say to me, Kevin, then what should I do? 
I believe I told you. Wait. Learn to wait. Learn to be patient. God, I am hungry. I am thirsty. Please help me. And I know what the Bible says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So God, I believe in that scripture. So, but please help me. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Then you wait. You hold your faith in Jesus Christ. So, so you pray. You hold your faith in Jesus and you wait. You wait. You continue to do what is right and you wait. I believe waiting is the key part here. Don't grow impatient and begin doing bad things to get things to believe, to get things to work for you. You don't have to do what is wrong to meet your needs. You don't. I don't. There were times where things were rough for me. I did not have to do anything bad to meet my needs. Now, if I did in the past, it was probably because I wanted to or my faith was probably too small for Jesus Christ. I mean, probably my faith was too little in Jesus Christ. So if you are following the rules of God which pertain to us, the ones which pertain to us, if you are staying patient, I truly believe your needs will be met. There is a person I read the Bible with and I talked so much about faith with that person. It's like I wanted to drill in faith in that person, like drill it in. There is something that person and I would pray for so much. I think we may have prayed about that thing so many times, I think. Guess what? I believe that person is getting those things that person prayed about. Yes, it took <laughs> a very long time. A very long time, I think. But that person is getting what that person prayed for. I mean, like she, that person is getting those, let me say, set of things. Do you understand what I am trying to say? So pretty much you have to stay patient. Stop rushing and panicking and all this stuff here. Let me stop here. God bless you.